And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about Farkle Frenzy. Now, the game Farkle, or um, let's see, I've played versions of it, Greed. There's a lot of different versions where you basically roll dice until, and see how many points you get with the rolls that you get until you roll badly and then you get nothing. But you can stop whenever you want. Basically, your typical push your luck. This one comes with a pop button thing. Yay, remember trouble? Uh, and it has a dice tower. There's always weirdness around our house. But before we give our opinion on the game, whether it's good or bad, let's take a look at it. You can see here in the middle of a push button tower and on this tower I add in a, a staircase for each player playing. So you can change these if there's three or two players playing. At the beginning of each round players are going to be popping this middle button which will eventually come up. The middle button has a five, a one, a wild which can be a, any number you want and a two times. So we pop it and we get a number. Usually it's going to be one or five. Each player has five dice that they're going to roll and they will roll those dice in front of them. Now players are looking for ones and fives. This game is comparative to Farkle or Greed or what have you, like I said. Ones and fives are your money makers. So if you roll a one, it's worth 100 points. If you roll a five, it is worth 50 points. Now. Players can get more than that with this little handy dandy scorecard that comes with the game. You can see that if you roll three of a kind, three twos is 200, three sixes is 600. Four of a kind, 1,000. Five of a kind, 2,000. Six of a kind, 3,000. But the problem with rolling six of a kind, etc., is that you have to do it in one roll. So see here, for example, I just rolled a three, four, five, and six. You say, oh, one more re-roll and you get a two. Well, no, that's actually not going to happen because... I need to roll it all at one time. So here I would simply keep the one and roll again. Now I could stop here. I have a five. Everyone has this middle die and a one. That's 150 points. Or I could roll again. Whew! Another one. That's another 100 points. I could have kept two fives if I wanted to, too. Oh, that's 300 points. Oh, 300. Well, 350, 400 points. Now I could roll this die again. Oh, no points. If you ever roll a die and you get no points, then you have just farkled and, sorry, no points at all that round for you. If, however, you fill up all the dice, then you can you get one more roll, and everyone else has to stop rolling. But like I said, usually you're getting ones and fives, but every once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll roll three of the same number. And you can, ooh, look at that, 200 plus another 200, 400, 450. And you add up your points, and each round you add your score, and the first person to get 10,000 points is the winner. The stairs aren't really needed, they're just there as a place to put your dice, and around this little popping button thing. I've never really been a big fan of Farkle itself. I, I understand some people like these style games. The one I played the most, I think, was a little dice version I got of Greed, where you tried to roll the dice, um, and, and, you know, not go out, but, or, there's just different things. There just seems to be too much luck. If you roll one, two, three, four, five, well, la ha ha, or six, you know, great, you get a lot of points, and that's just pure luck. There's no real changing it around. But there is the push your luck element to it, and I understand a lot of people like that. Again, this is a game that tends to focus on the family to some degree, so let's check with the kids and see what they think. What do you think of Farkle Frenzy? It's very nice because whenever I, my dice are like lucky dice because whenever I roll my dice, it they turn like in doubles. Oh, so it's, you're just luck is the reason you won? No. Ah, yes it is. All right, but it is fun. Why didn't I win? I should have won, right? Because you kept on putting, whenever you rolled the dice, you kept on rolling and rolling and rolling the dice. Dad always pushes his luck to the extreme, which is why in a push your luck game, I never win. But the day I do win, I'm going to win big. All right, let's see what Melody thinks. Again, we're talking about Farkle Frenzy. Melody, what do you think? I really like the game because sometimes I don't even win. <laughs> but it's really fun to play because I like pushing down on the button thing. Oh, that's true. <laughs> the pushing the bubble thing is a pretty fun and a cool mechanic. And I'm the only one that got two times. 
besides Dana. <laughs> and the reason why my dad loses, he even loses in, what was that game called again? Pink and Gold? Yeah, because he will never stop. <laughs> never. Just like Micah. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. The kids like it a lot. Not for me, but more of a kids style game. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.